deal with citizen science. Many of you have heard of the citizen science if uh, you've read the last issue of American Antiquity. There's a piece in there on citizen science. And I just want to point out that that article implies that citizen science and crowdsourcing are synonyms. They are not crowdsourcing as one aspect of citizen science. And as I've you know, got my friend Ben Franklin up there, he has many things to his credit, uh, but amongst other things, he was a citizen scientist. Uh, so does citizen science uh, just equal volunteerism at Smithsonian? Uh, it does not, at least not in the archaeology program at the Environmental Research Center. We have lots of folks who are interested in just digging or screening or washing artifacts, and that is just fine. But we do not anticipate what people come to us for. We try to find out what their interest is, and we try to accommodate. Many of the folks who come to us so we've had a number who are interested, the young people who are interested in pursuing archaeology as a career, going to graduate school. And so we uh, organize our research around those interests. They're actually given research uh, products. They're not just folks who come out and help us do the dirty work. Uh, so here, well, we're engaging the public. We're, it's a relatively small part of the public, but they are literally engaged in doing science. Some of them are just technicians, others are actually pursuing the science. Uh, so we want to accommodate their needs. And so what we've done is create a tiered system. We have our general volunteers. We have our folks who want to take on something more challenging. And so they actually take on science, uh, research projects where they define the research question, where they come up with an appropriate methodology. They implement that methodology, they analyze, and they, they give talks on it. They write papers. Uh, one of our the first one to join the program, Sarah Grady, is here this week. Uh, gave a paper yesterday. It's, I think, her third, SA, uh, her second SHA paper. She's done some regional ones. <coughs> we've got one fellow who's uh, published a piece, and, and we've got four people who are going to be going to the Mid Atlantic Archaeological Conference uh, in March giving papers. So they're involved at a different level. Some are young, young folks trying to go to graduate school, uh, not all in archaeology, one in cultural anthropology. And one is a guy that's older than I am. You know, he's retired, he already has a career, and he's out there doing the citizen science. Uh, I think one of the things we do need if we're going to involve the public in doing science is we need some sort of theory of public participation science. What is the role of the public in producing consumable producing science. Um, it, I've just given you uh, uh, several examples of some of the products that three of them have produced so far. There's a couple more I can add to this. Conference papers and publications. And we are not confined to the Smithsonian Environmental Research Campus, which is some 2,600 acres of woodlands and fields. Uh, we're about to move off to Delaware to look at shell button making in the 20th century. So all sorts of things that we can do following their interests. <clears throat> so I think, again, well, I think we do need to develop some sort of theory of this, and uh, that's perhaps something not everybody's interested in pursuing, but we need to find a place for folks. Uh, and there's still lots of room for entertaining site visitors, for engaging children in classrooms and in the field, and in make-believe archaeological sites, there's roles for all of this. But I think we really need some coherent body of theory that explains well, why are we doing this and what do we expect to get out of it? What do they expect to get out of it? I, for one, expect to expand my research team from one, me, into a much larger group. And now I can do all kinds of research projects I couldn't possibly do by myself by engaging in this place. So I think that's about all I have to say. Thank you.